For thousands of years, we have wondered if we're alone in our universe, if there's some form of extraterrestrial life or alien being waiting to be found. While we have not discovered any otherworldly life, I personally believe that there is life out there, even if it isn't what we believe it to be. Most people think of extraterrestrial life as hostile gray bobbleheads, which is the common picture of aliens. But once you think about it, it's likely anything but. As you can see with such diversity on Earth, life can come in many forms. Therefore, depending on the circumstances of, of the planet, they might as well turn out to be simple houseflies. But that's not all. Most people think of extraterrestrial life as an animal, but life can come in the form of a plant, maybe a giant 200 foot tall thorned purple wood tree, or it could simply be grass. Either way, it'd be considered life and would be an amazing discovery to find. Lastly, and most commonly forgotten, is bacterial life. Life that's hidden behind the scenes. Life that you need a microscope to see. Although it may not be as interesting as animal or plant life, it would still be considered life, no matter how small it may be. But why am I so certain that this life exists? Well, it's because in our giant universe, there's trillions of stars hundreds of trillions of stars, almost all of which we came and see at night. Many of these stars are much like our sun with celestial bodies orbiting them. Each of these stars could potentially house a form of life. They house several planets, moons, comets, asteroids. And once you think about it, trillions of stars, hundreds of trillions of stars, and all these planets why haven't we found life yet? Well, it's because <sighs> there's practically an endless list of requirements. Some of these requirements are like atmospheric pressure, material makeup of the planet, distance from the sun. All of these make up the chance of life to exist on the planet. And luckily enough, we're here today. But it sounds very, very hard, like this list of criterias, how is it possible that life sees this? Well, it's, mo it's completely luck, and that's how we're here today, just by chance, so be thankful. But how exactly is life created on a planet? Sure, it fits the requirements, yep, check, 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 but how are we brought here? How is life created? Simply put, we don't know. It's one of those things like how the Big Bang started, for example, that we can't know for sure, at least not with our technology. Well, we do have a theory, at least for life on Earth. We have many theories, actually, and it's quite possible that none of them are correct, that we've got the completely wrong idea. However, <clears throat> I do want to talk about this one. Panspermia is the process of life being transported throughout the universe through comets, asteroids, meteoroids, planetoids, accidental contamination of a space shuttle, and so on. Each of these objects, under the right circumstances, could have a form of life which would then be brought to the planet it collides with. This is exactly what the panspermia theory is about. This theory, which first became a hypothesis in 1871, states that life on Earth was jump-started by a comet. This comet that supposedly started a life would have contained the key molecules for life. These molecules likely thrived in boiling water heated by the recent impact of the comet. These molecules would have then began to mix and match and slowly but surely began to reproduce and evolve all the way up to what we have today. Wait a minute. If this theory is true, wouldn't that mean that life on Earth didn't come from Earth? Wouldn't that mean that life on Earth came from the comet instead? Would that make us aliens to our own planet? Thank you.